Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're going to look at a duo of coolers. Now they are slightly different other than the size. I do have a 360 and a 240 from NZXT and it's the new Krakens but the 240 that I've got is the Kraken 240 RGB but the 360 is the Kraken Elite 360 RGB. Now the difference really is the screen size. Now I need to come around the back here because that's where I can see the text for it. And that is the on the Kraken non-elite, it's a 1.5 inch display with a 240 by 240p display. Whereas the 360, which is the elite, is a 2.36 inch wide angle LCD screen. Uh, and it's a crystal clear 640 by 640 display. Now I can say that the difference between the two is very noticeable, very noticeable. I'm going to turn the, the rig on here, which is the 316. In fact, do you have the annoying activate Windows icon on your desktop or you're planning on building a new rig and need a fresh key? Then head over to SCD key where you can buy Windows 10 and Windows 11 codes. Don't forget you can purchase a Windows 10 code to activate Windows 11. This is something where you can save a few pounds. But if you go and hit uh, Windows 10, hit buy it now. And then when it takes you to the basket, you can use OC3D as your promotional code and that will give you 25% off any of the Windows codes that I'll show you today. Once you've hit submit order, it will take you through to the payment options and you can pay by credit, debit card, PayPal, Mint or NeoSurf. And once you hit pay now, you'll uh, receive your code into your email inbox. If you head over to the uh, SCD key website, then you will be able to buy uh, discounted versions of the latest games and also software like Office as well if you are interested. When I turn it on, you can see the startup procedure for the 360 and instantly we go in and you can see the lovely white around the outside. The uh, liquid temperature there shows you how big the screen is. But during the boot up process, it will uh, eventually flick on to my logo and you'll see, you know, that it's full width. Um, uh, and the screen is very nice, very, very nice. Uh, but on the uh, normal Elite 240, it is a lot, lot smaller. And you can see that there's a, a little black around the outside, and then you've got the tiny little screen in the middle. Coming back to the Elite, though, you can now see it's gone to the big OC3D logo, so you can see the difference. I'll flash the 240 up again, just so that you can see, and it is an awful lot of difference. Now we've seen that there is a big difference between the size of the displays and there is also a really big difference in the price because of the displays as well. You effectively pay an extra £70 to upgrade that screen size and nothing else changes. So uh, if you have a 360 with a small screen, it's £199. To flick up to the larger screen, it is £269. Now, it is a nice screen, I will say that, um, but it, I almost feel like there needs to be a version, if that's the difference between the two, without a screen at all. Maybe like an RGB frosted panel with the NZXT logo in it or something, or another way to get another SKU out of it with a much cheaper price. Um, because, like I said, if you can save that much money removing or having a smaller screen, imagine how much money you could save not having one there at all. Now, uh, the fans that I've got, because I've got the 120 spin up to 1800 RPM, I've never been a fan of uh, NZXT Cam, the software, and straight away when I went to use it, I was trying to change like fan speeds and stuff like that, and it was just a percentage at the side, so you were having to adjust it. I'd test at maximum 1500, uh, 1000, and then 600 RPM. And I was having to change the percentage and then look at the RPM because it didn't tell me the RPM. I had to wait for it to adjust and settle. That was one thing that annoyed me. Then when I was trying to have the look at the RPM screen at the top, but then move the thing down, 
I tried to extend the software screen so I could see both the things at the same time. Well, you cannot uh, extend the screen. You can't sort of scale it and open it up at all. It's just the size that they give you, which is still idiotic. Um, but it did work. It wasn't annoying too much, although it had this weird 100 RPM flick that it would do at several of the uh, fan speeds. And it wasn't that the fan speeds were going up and down by 100 uh, RPM. It was just, it was um, monitoring them and seeing a 100 RPM difference. So it would go from like, uh, it was about 80 actually. It was normally like, it would be like 14 Oh, 07 rpm and then it'd be like 1500 rpm and it would it would dance between the two and like i said the fan speeds themselves actually didn't change it was just the reporting of it so it's still far from perfect but i don't hate it as much as i used to when it was very buggy but it is it like i said it was still it, it doesn't do things that i think it should and it does things that i think it shouldn't end of discussion so uh, pump speed goes up to 3000 RPM. One of the most important things that I will say about the pump that is included with these is it is not the same as the Asus Acetec units. Asus used the eighth gen pump. The NZXT, you'd think it would be a bad thing that they're on the seventh gen pump. It is totally the opposite. I think the eighth gen pumps are too noisy and you need them when you're benching to have them on a high RPM maxed basically to be able to get decent performance out of it this i ran them the pump at max but in reality i couldn't really hear it it is the way i would expect a pump in one of these to be which is why i brought up so hard about the asus ones not being that good you can set a pump profile obviously but with benchmarking where loads can be so instantaneous, sometimes they can not catch up as quick as you'd want them to. And definitely they don't with the Asus because the software is just not as quick. Not that the software is not as quick, it's just the, where they grab the temperatures from is just not where you'd want it to be. But anyway, we don't want to talk about them. We'll stick with this. Uh, now, we know that the pump speed, we know that it's not noisy, seventh gen, not eighth gen, definite bonus. Pricing, eh, depends on whether you want a big screen or not. But I need to work out why that keeps going dim because that's annoying me. But uh, very, very good performance. To the point, you'll see that I've got my little thermometer here. We've been moving the thermometer around the room. I have actually gone back and retested the Asus one that I tested recently. Tested it out in the shed in the exact same environment. I went back and tested the EK as well, just to make sure, because I wasn't sure what was going on with the EK results, because in my eyes, they were too good. Genuinely thought they were too good. Now the Asus one come back within a quarter of a degree with the, the same Delta, so did the EK, so they must be about right. Which means, that these are actually really, really good AIOs. And the only thing that I can really put it down to is the fans. Um, because obviously we've got the pump running as good as it can do. That's how I treat everything. And then <clears throat> I literally test everything the same. So you get your um, max run, which for this is 1800. You get your 1500 run, which pretty much all fans do. 1000 RPM, which pretty much all fans do, and then you'd normally get a 600 RPM run as well. When you try and set this to 600 RPM, it actually goes off. The um, RPM's lowest that you can get it to run at is 700. I don't want to artificially give them a, a head start over the others, so we can't get it to run at 600. We didn't test at 600. End of discussion. Um, but otherwise than that, the maximum run and the 1500 run was outstanding. The um, 1000 RPM run was epic as well. And even the 240 didn't um, shame itself amongst the other pack. It was one of the better 240, best 240s I've ever tested. So NZXT, you've done wonders with these fans and I wish it would say more about them in the software stuff around the back because let's have a look. Radiator, 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 fan. 
F120 RGB core fans. That's what they have fitted, and this AIO absolutely loves it. So, that my take from this is if you want one of these really badly, I'd probably go with the bigger screen if you're going to use it. The larger one means that you can put full size images on there, it means you can put GIFs, high resolution, it does just do more. The small one makes me feel like they should have put lights around the outside of it or they should have done something more with it. But it is a fairly big £70 saving. I just wish that they had brought out another one without a screen at all, with just an RGB or something on it, and maybe brought us, I don't know, another 30 or 40 quid saving for those of you out there that just want the performance. And then it would almost be a non-brainer. If they brought out that cooler, then there would be some serious competition with the uh, EK Nucleus, which is my kind of, it has been my sweet spot of um, uh, price versus performance. And the only reason why I'd sway away from the uh, Elite with the smaller screen and the 360 is just because the smaller screen does look like someone shrunk it in the wash. It stands out, they should have done more to work with it rather than just go, oh, a smaller screen, and then it will be okay. And I don't really think it was. Once it's got that small, I just kind of think it shouldn't have been there. But anyway, I'm going to come back here and mess around with this again, hoping that it wakes up. There we go. See, I know why it's doing it. It's because it's OLED and it doesn't want burning, but I need to find a way of turning that off because I really only turn this on for you guys and when I'm watching stuff. Um, so I kind of like it to stay there. And in case you're wondering, that is my sister's car. And we have a custom case coming soon that we're going, it matches the car. We, it's a themed rig. It's going to match the car. And uh, there's going to be a photo shoot and all that kind of stuff just because I think it's about time I did something to memorialise what all that stood for. But oh, crikey. Talk about going off topic. Anyway, cracking coolers, cracking crackens. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. Wish I had though.